Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and today I am going to be repotting some plants with you. So I have my Monstera Peru that needs to be up potted and I also have my ficus Audrey that needs to be up potted. But my main focus is this one right here. I have some poles. They are actually Coco Coir poles that I ordered off of Amazon that we're going to stick and try and get this thing to grow up because I got her held up with a piece of plastic right now. Okay, so we're, <laughs> we're also going to be trying the De La Tanks Soil Mix by Becca De La Plants. It's ideal for all house plants. It's a mix of compost, pro cocoa chips, pumice, and Tanks Organic Super Mix Fertilizer. So this is from Tanks Green Stuff. I ordered this on Amazon as well as the Cocoa Coir poles. I will link them both for you below so that you can get these. This is the eight quart one. I think this might be the largest one that they sell because your girl ran out of soil and um, yeah, this one's already mixed for me. I've never tried pumice and I don't know what Pro Cocoa is, maybe some sort of Cocoa Coir. That's what we're gonna do, you guys. All right, um, I need like a box of sorts. Hold on. I just needed to get like something to put the soil in when I dump this plant out. This is my Monstera Peru. I've had it in this container. It was shipped to me bare root, I think. I don't remember. Um, I do have that video it's still up on my channel though. My friend Lindsay sent this to me a while back. She just doesn't seem to be happy in here. So I wanted to get her, ooh yeah, that's a lot of roots down there. I wanted to get her into something a little bit bigger. Hopefully I don't upset her, but I need to make room. Oh, those are some big roots. I need to make room for ooh, see those. Okay, so ideally I didn't want it to all kind of fall out like this, but this is a really chunky mix that I put it in. So, but these roots were growing all the way. You can see they're kind of in the shape of the pot, the container that it was in. So she's been getting a lot of like yellowing leaves that just keep falling out. So I wanted to put her in something bigger and give her something to climb up. I'm gonna put her in this terracotta because it's the only thing I have that's the right size and has drainage. So yeah, that should be good. I like them because they look nice and neat. We're gonna stick one of those in there too and have her up on here like this. We're gonna put her up on a pole like a stripper. All right, so I'm actually just gonna move this. I don't think this is resealable, so I'm gonna have to store it in my, I have like a Home Depot bucket so that it's airtight. All right, this looks like a really nice mix. So this is what the mix looks like. pretty nice it's nice and chunky I think this is like cocoa coir like chunks just want to make sure that there's enough soil at the bottom for the roots to grow down and enough space on the sides for them to grow around that should be good about there so all of my nodes or my like adventitious roots are on this side of the plant you can see those little nubbies i want those to be attached to the pole so 
this is deep enough, but it's gonna have to work. I don't really like how... I wish I could shorten this. That's slightly irritating. Okay, I'm back. So I was able to take like just a little bit of the tip off the bottom with some scissors and some patience. <laughs> so now it's able to kind of sit down in the bottom of the pot a little bit nicer so hopefully it won't be like sticking out the top too much. I'm gonna hold it where I want it and I'll be able to cover it. It's irritating me crash. I don't love it. We're gonna do it. So I've got my soil. I've got my plant. I've got my audience. My cat is literally right here watching me. I fed you already. You chunky. What was that? What? What was it? So yeah, here we are. Now you see my audience. <laughs> I just got it all over the floor. Potting on film is like really fucking difficult. Why is it so difficult? It's so easy in regular, regular life. But when I try to film it, it's a problem and a half. Um, and I'm gonna need to get something to tie it up. I left my twine in the other room. The pole's a little crookered. Okay, that doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Hopefully the plant will kind of just like eventually, I can put some rocks. I'm not supposed to fill the soil up this high, but it's, I just want to cover the base. I am really liking this mix. I think that my plants are gonna like it. I can definitely update you guys and let you know how this plant does. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit up close what the soil looks like. It's really nice. Got some pumice, some cocoa coir. This is also made out of cocoa coir. This is what I'm not loving right here, this gap, but we're, we're gonna just ignore it for now and we're gonna pretend it's not there because she looks cute. We're gonna focus on how cute she is and getting her to grow up this pole. I do have a little saucer, so we're gonna put you over here while we do this one. Normally, I really would not want to touch some of these plants in the winter time, but they seem like they were really struggling. So you kind of have to make a decision on like, whether you're gonna wait or whether you're, you know, like this, look at it. You just kind of have to weigh out like your options. Like I'm worried that this plant is not doing well. It's drying out really quickly. It's not in good soil. It's probably been in here for a long time. It's ready for something new. So what I am gonna do is just pop this back in here. And the same thing again. I got this cute little pot. Um, I forget where, but it has drainage. So I really like it. Put a couple scoops in the bottom. I don't want to disturb this plant too much, so I'm just going to get rid of some of like this top soil here and just try and like loosen it up gently. I'm just being really gentle and tickling it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. She's laughing. You just can't hear her. It's only a language that we speak. So I'm not going to go crazy because some of these roots are not looking super happy. This was grown as a plug, so it had like that little mesh or whatever it is thing around it. So it is good to kind of just like break that up a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna leave most of it alone because I, like I said, I really don't wanna bother it. And the soil doesn't look terrible, so it's okay. I'm just going to kind of leave it in its little root ball like this, lock it directly in here like this. And then we just fill in the sides. This is really nice soil. I think that the plants are gonna be really happy. So I think 
it's straight. And that's my Audrey. Okay, girl, you look cute in here. She's adorable. I know I've been getting a lot of like people on my channel saying that they really don't like ficus. I get that they can be a bit of a pain in the butt, but I just, I love this plant so much. She's got these beautiful, like slightly fuzzy leaves. The underneath has like this beautiful veining, like since I bought her, the leaves have just continued to get bigger and bigger and bigger too, which is one of the reasons why I think she needs a repot because she's not actually growing vertically. She's just getting bigger. The leaves are just getting bigger. So I think that by giving her a little extra space that maybe she'll be happier. Hopefully this Peru will be happier with a little extra space as well i do like i said just need to tie it i usually use all different types of things people use like that green tape gardener's tape or something i don't know what it's called hopefully she'll start growing up the pole and that's it um i've got soil all over <laughs> but i like it i mean it's good it's good soil so I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to water this too much because of the terracotta and this really chunky mix that I've got it in, but we're going to find out. It's also really important to keep this wet. So I'm going to water both of these plants and I'm going to make sure that I really soak this totem. Because when it's moist, these little adventitious roots will be more inclined to grow towards the moisture of the cocoa coir on the totem and hopefully attach itself to it. And then obviously there's, you know, you could buy more and extend it if need be. So we're good with just this one for now. I think they're 24 inches if I'm not mistaken. So yes that is it for this video you guys i definitely recommend picking up this soil if you're looking for something nice and chunky it's all over my table <laughs> buy yourself also like a bucket or something to store it in because this is not a resealable bag that is it for this video crush came back to say hi hi bubba you want to be in the outro so yeah Thank you for coming back to our channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't thumbs up, crush your pants. Thumbs up, he doesn't have thumbs. Don't forget to subscribe. We gotta do the subscribe. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from us. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. Check out all my plants I put in here. In the background are they cute okay i'm gonna go now okay so i really quickly also wanted to show you guys how well this soil drains so i still haven't tied this up you can see a little bit better than i need to attach this to here but i wanted to show you i watered my audrey and i wanted to show you how nice it drains i am making sure this is warm water and it's not um spraying too aggressively. I want to wet the soil, but I don't want to move it around too much. Hope that you could see that the water's not pooling up. It's draining right down through nicely.